What's up? I'm Stacy Paulson with a Beautiful Life podcast, and I want to share with you how to feel better quickly when you have a sinus infection. So, the past few days uh, have been kind of hectic. If you've been following along, you know that my father-in-law passed away from cancer recently, and we've been, you know, doing all the things that you do to plan funeral and just kind of pick up the pieces. And there's been a lot going on. So I also had surgery on my arm. I would show you, but our heat, our one of our heaters uh, went out. So I'm sitting here on a hot pad and I have a space heater waiting for that to get fixed. And it happened to drop down to like four degrees last night. And right now, oh, I'm on my phone. Uh, it's in the 20s. So very unusual for this time of year. So it just happened to be perfect timing. So that's why I have, if you're listening to the podcast, you can't see it, but I have two coats on. And so back to saying like, just the craziness has been going on. So that's happened with our heater. Uh, I had surgery on my elbow and I would show you the scar and stuff. And so I've been having physical therapy and having to do, it's about three hours of exercises and stretching and stuff to get that back up and working. Um, in addition, we're preparing for my son to go on a mission, so there's just a lot of last minute things to do over the next couple weeks. Uh, then, with all the stuff going on with my father in law, we have like homework to catch up on and just things to catch up on. Laundry that's piled up. If you can imagine, eight people, one house, there's a lot of homework, a lot of laundry. Um, last night was senior night for my daughter's volleyball team. She's a junior, but because she's a junior, the juniors take care of the senior night. And I was in charge of making a video. So yesterday was scrambling to finish up a highlight video for them and decorations. I was in charge of decorations, running around getting different things. I hadn't eaten lunch or dinner, was taking care of other people, making sure the players were fed, my family was fed. And I even have three bandages. You can't see them on my fingers because I was getting an extension cord from outside and it was stuck under the barbecue and I pulled that cord and then my feet, when it kind of jerked out, my fingers went scraping along the concrete. So it scraped all those up. Uh, and then we're preparing for um, company to come over. They'll be, they're coming in for the funeral, so trying to get the house cleaned up, beds ready for them, food stocked for the house. Uh, and of course, because I'm a woman, of course, it's that time of the month. It has to start all the same time. And so what I'm rambling on is that there's been a lot of things going on. And last night after, during their volleyball game, I was starting to feel a lot of pressure behind my eyes and my nose, which if I wasn't having so much thing, so many things going on, I would have recognized quickly that a sinus infection was coming on. I was around some people who had something over the past week as we're um, all together as a family. And I happened to get that. I didn't, yeah, I didn't really recognize that last night. I just thought is there was just so much going on that I hadn't gotten a lot of sleep trying to get that video done. And like looking on a screen, just thinking that my eyes hurt, I need to go to bed. So I went to bed early last night, which is rare. Like, I just got a crash and I woke up this morning and knew exactly what was going on. I had a sinus infection. And you, you know, you had that pressure behind your eyes, your nose kind of hurts. I couldn't breathe out of one nostril. And so I wander on downstairs. And in the past, what I've done, because I used to get a lot of sinus infections, is I used to take um, either allergy medication, because that helped to kind of release some of the pressure, or Excedrin, for some reason that would kind of open up the flow enough just so that I wasn't in, in like misery, but it didn't help kill a sinus infection. It didn't help get to the, the problem of it. It just helped kind of sustain me through the time until it went away, or, I generally would go to the doctor and get an antibiotic <clears throat> to take for that. So that was the old way, but this morning I wandered down to my kitchen because I know exactly what to do and I know what's worked because I've been using doing this for nearly 10 years. And so I just wanted to share with you what it was and how quickly, like for those who aren't on the live video <laughs> or watching the recording, but you're on the podcast, I'll tell you that I don't look so bad this morning, <laughs> but when I woke up, I looked miserable. My eyes were red. And you could just tell it was just stuffy and just miserable. And I have so much stuff to catch up on thinking, oh my gosh, another day, I'm gonna have to be out. 
So anyway, I wander downstairs and my first go-to is to heat up um, a mug of water. So 90 seconds, a mug of water in the microwave. And then I pull that out and I have a little dropper bottle that has these four essential oils in it. It has On Guard, um, which is their doTERRA's immune boosting blend. Uh, then it had oregano, tea tree oil, and lemon. So I just have a little dropper bottle that has all those in there. And you can take it internally. I would put it in a capsule, you can take it internally, but I just take a squirt and put it in that steaming water. And then I just close one nostril and breathe it in one side and then close the other nostril and breathe it in the other side. And I keep doing that until kind of the steam is gone. And it helps to open those airways, helps to get rid of, clear up, kill any junk that's going on in there. And it gives you such a relief as far as pressure wise. Um, this time, in addition, I also added Breathe, which is a respiratory blend, and then Copaiba, which is great for inflammation and kind of the pain. So I put a drop or two of those in, in, in addition and just breathe that in. And literally within seconds, the pressure was gone. I could breathe out of both sides of my nose. And then after I did that, I put some Breathe over the top of my nose, over the bridge of my nose, and then the Copaiba, and I heated up a rice pack. So that, I love rice packs. You can buy them, you can make them, super simple. Uh, so I heat that up for about 90 seconds to two minutes and then I just stick it on my face. And it drives those oils in deep within your sinuses and gives just added relief. So I did that and then I had a little bit of breakfast and took an On Guard Plus, which is an immune boosting blend. So I'm thinking from the inside out, I'm gonna also attack this. And then I also did the the steaming mug thing two more times within probably two hours this morning and literally like my sinuses are clear I can breathe the the pressure is gone there's I can still feel there's some stuff going on in there so I'm gonna continue doing it for the rest of the day but I don't have that pounding headache I don't have the pressure behind my eyes my mind is able to function a little more clearly and I'm continuing on with the things that I have to do today so I just wanted to share with you, like that is just a super simple way within your home to take care of something. And this has worked phenomenally well for me over the years. So just passing that along to you. And if you want more information about essential oils or other natural remedies, you can go check out Facebook, my YouTube, um, Instagram. There's just tons of content there to find just natural solutions for everyday problems. Thanks guys.